go. What's going on, guys? In this video, we're going to be doing a server from Hell from Try Hack Me. This is a box server about Medium. And yeah, let's get on to the video. I'm Mr. Bob My Terminal Stream. I'm Mr. Burning Gay Ping of my DC. We did count for three on 10, 10, 187, 74. This seemed like we were able to ping that IP address to Mr. Burning MM scan. So do MMISC for default scripts. My CC for information. Let's count boards on the IP. Doing this, I'll do my CC verbose. Look at the ports. It does seem like we do have a lot of boards open. By default, I'm gonna start by visiting port 80 and see if we can visit port 80. So it doesn't seem like we're able to visit port 80. I just confirm since we're not able to tell through the MAP scan, I'm actually gonna just run an MAP. We'll scan, up, we'll scan the port on port 80 on 10, 10, 80, 87, 74. We do have port open for HTTP. I'm also gonna do this for port 443. I also do have open for HTTPS. So it doesn't seem like HTTP. It doesn't seem like we're able to visit that. HTTPS 1010.187.74 is not available, right? Uh, by default, we did have a uh, on try hack me. It is telling us to start by visiting port 80 and telling us to also enumerate uh, start or starting from port 1337, I believe, was the port. Uh, starting from there, I'm, also, I'm just going to run a map on 1337. Do this on 10, 10, 187, 74. I'll do Verbos. We do have uh, the servers open as waste. So I'll do that. I can my SNV on the IP address on port 1337. And it is telling us to, um, this is the beginning of our journey. And telling us to find the troll face and uh, the legend is hiding in the first 100 ports. So more efficient way of doing this instead of visiting uh, or doing a banner grab on port one, port two, port three, port 50, you know, doing it manually. We can start by doing this more efficiently by running a for loop. So do for I in or for I in, and we can start by specifying the, what, the loop that we want or the number sequence of what we want. This case, we didn't know is the first 100 ports. So we'll do one to 100, we can close that out. The semicolon will do, put, I usually like putting parentheses around here. Uh, sometimes the bash is not like if you don't put parentheses. And we'll just do run uh, that cat my send V on the IP address. So we'll do this dollar sign I, which the number's gonna go right here. So it's gonna do net cat my send V on port, port one, port two, port three, right? And now you'll see that we have port one. We're about to grab on port one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, right? And it's gonna keep going till we reach 100. So looking at this, it does seem like we did find the troll face, as we do see here. We do have the each eye. And we find the troll face, with, which is telling us to go to port 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'll do control Z, we'll do a foreground, control C. We'll do net cam ice and V on the IP address on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We do see that we do have NFS shares are cool, especially when they're misconfigured and it's on the standard port. So we do know this is on the standard port. By default, we do have this on 2049. We can also check what port it is. NFS, you just see that we do have the port for 2049. NFS uses port 249 or 2049, right? So like at this, we did have the NFS here. We did run a banner grab. It's, it is on the standard port. So we'll do, we'll do an M, we'll just run M apps can on 2049. We'll this on the IP address on minus V verbose. And we indeed do have this open for NFS on 2049. Like at this, I'm starting running a show mount command. We'll do show mount minus C so we can show the other exports. The IP address. And we do have export list for home NFS. So by default, I like you uh, creating a directory for mount by seeding to mount. We can start by using the mount command to mount the uh, NFS here. So do mount minus T. We'll do the T's for the type, which can be for NFS. Went to the IP address, which we do have under here. 1010.187.74. So 1010.187.74. In this case, we did have this under slash home and FS. We can specify a mount point. If we didn't look back, we don't have, we can look back into mount, which we can, which is basically just this directory, right? We can see the back, seen to mount. And now we do have uh, this backup.zip. So I'm going to unzip into this backup.zip. It does require a password here, so I'm going to start using fcrackzip. We'll do minus u, minus d, we'll do minus p, 
For user share war list, rockyou.txt. I'll do the backup.zip. We did find the password here. So I'm just going to unzip it in backup.zip. And we cannot create a home directory. So doing this when usually by default, uh, we can't do it under the directory that we did mount it on. So I just copy that backup.zip into that server directory. Now we can unzip that backup.zip, put the password in, and that creates that home directory for us. So we can cd into home, Hades, we have dos sh, and we do have this head.txt, this flag.txt. Also, do we have a host name under here, which should be under this dot pub. The host name is for hell, and uh, also the username as Hades, right? The user as Hades. Um, we do have this private key under here. So, looking at this hint, I'm gonna cat this hint. I'm guessing we do need to find the port for SSH since we do have the private key and also the public key that we can use. Uh, we do know the user, which is gonna be for Hades. So looking back, I'm just gonna go to four. We'll do four I, we'll do four I in this case, we did have from two five zero zero to four five zero zero. Let's just say that. So we'll do SSH. Um, in this case, we're gonna be looping through uh, the number, the sequence 2500 to 14, four five zero zero. So do four Hades, which we do have the user did have the IP address here. 10, 10, 187, 74. We'll do minus I for ID underscore SA. We'll specify minus P for dollar sign I. I'm putting this under the minus P for dollar sign I since we're going to be looping through the port numbers, right? We'll do semicolon for done. We'll just put a process eight. We'll just put a parentheses there. So now we do see that we do have the 2500, 2501. 2503, and it's going to be looping till it does get a. Um, we do have the right port with that um, private key that we did use. So, after a while, we do have a port that's SSH that is running on 3333. So, I'm just going to do yes. Doing this, we are in a uh, restrictor shell, I believe. Um, we do have RB, so I'm just going to go to GTFO bins. IRB. Uh, we can use RRB, so I'm just going to um, do RRB. We can, it seems like we can execute a bin slash bash. I'm just going to copy and paste this in here. Do ID. And then we're under Hades. So I'm going to start doing some manual animation under, we'll just go under slash var. We're going to dub dub dub. We don't have a dub dub dub. I'm going to go under slash backups. I'm thinking under backups, I'm going to go under slash opts. I'm thinking under slash opt either. We do have other users here for NFS, which is the mounts that we did have. Should have that backup.zip. We do have this Ubuntu user. There's the SSH. We have Vagrants. We have his uh, DOS SSH. We can't CD into his DOS SSH. So I'm seeing to slash dev SHM. Um, I'm just going to get this HTTP. Do have my IP address as I run IF config on 10 10 10 9 9 18 2 2 2 2 3. This is important 881. I'm getting that linpeace.sh. We'll do control all, control shift all. We'll see into my documents here. We'll go privilege escalation, see into linpeace. We'll do Python 3 minus some HTTP on port 881. We have this linpeace.sh, press it on that. Do chmod plus x for linpeace.sh, run this linpeace.sh, put it to a file.txt. So linpeace.sh, I'll put it to a file.txt. Doing this, we can wait for linpeace to run and we'll see what we get. So after a while, we do have this file.txt, so I'm just gonna move into file.txt. So now I'm just going to be looking at the PE vector, which is 99% PE vector for red and yellow. So it doesn't seem like we have anything so far. We 
we do have we don't have any SUID. We do have uh, capabilities here for slash bintar. I believe with slash bintar we can get the um, just confirm we can use like the get cap to uh, view if this is a capability or not. Do four slash I believe it's to four slash two slash uh, dev uh, null. Just if it does pop up for bintar, that means this is a capability. Um, we can also get this uh, get the shadow file and make into a shadow.tar. So we can use the slash bin slash tar cvf. Um, we're going to specify just a file name. I'll just name it file.tar. File.tar for slash etc shadow. Now we do have this uh, file.tar that does contain the slash etc shadow, right? For that directory and also for that file. So do tar minus xvf for file.tar. cd into slash etc. Now we do have the shadow file. So I'm just going to copy this, put this into, um, I'll just make a directory. I'll just make a directory for hash. C into hash. V into hash dot txe, put this in here. So we can just leave the two users on here, which is going to be for Vagrant and also for the user as root. So I'm just right quick. And now we do have the hash.txe. So we use John, minus minus word list. We'll equal this to user share with this rocky.txe for hash.txe. So we use John, minus minus show for hash.txe. We do have the root password for trust no one. So I'm going to switch users to root to the password, just my slay, kataru.txe. We'll get some in the video for like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.